Well, good morning again. This is Hiro. What we have today, I guess we could call it um, bonsai material from discarded uh, parts of another project. Well, I think we are not going to spend a lot of time on it. We're just going to start to guide it so that it will become a tree of the future. Well, this was the, the stump that we had. So, well, let's get started. This one here, see how it forks off? Do that, and then it starts the movement. And then somewhere over here, let's do that, right? And then these just get cut short. Uh, this one here, probably should be a side branch. There's a little branch that's going there, so see, it goes flat across that way. That means that no wire is necessary. Okay, this is our main tree. We come around here, oh, maybe around here somewhere uh, would be a good new leader. And then these are extras. We don't have to worry too much about it. Now, maybe this one is a little bit still too tall. I'll go this way and then make it turn that way. Well, when you have two, make sure that they're not the same height. This is the primary, this is the secondary. And then the rest of it, don't worry about it because this is nowhere near uh, finish or anything like that. So as these develop into uh, more like a trees then you could worry about this but for now it just just growth what are we seeing here yeah they all have this big fat trunk and a big cut well that's why these were the discards i think most everybody else would have thrown away but you know me i'll see what i can do with it so this is our main tree and see all this growth up on top. But in terms of movement and trunk, I mean taper, this is better. So I'm gonna sacrifice this big tall thing. And then these may or may not be uh, stained. I'll pretend that it's gonna be uh, a multi or it just end up being a sacrifice but we're just trying to get one line see you have so many lines that are competing so I'm just going to make a choice so if this is the other one and then these just gonna get shortened 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 and don't worry about it Okay, so now we do have some sort of movement. Actually, this in the future might even be better if it was cut off here, but we don't know yet. And we don't care at this point, we just let it grow. Well, <laughs> this is another stump. You can still see the chain, I mean the uh, saw mark. But okay so what i'm thinking about this one here in the future once we know what we're going to do up here i'll probably take the carving tools and carve this so that it doesn't look like uh, it's been uh, sawed off right but that's still in the future okay so let's see what we can do with this guy we probably don't need as many of these side things so this could become a stump trial uh, style with one, two, three. Okay, so I'll go ahead and work this first one. Line, line. I could cut it off going this way, but I think we're better off going somewhere up here. So to make this a side branch go like that. And then up here let's see 
how that works out. You know, uh, down the line, it might be that we'll cut it off here, but we want to keep this kind of big or tall and vigorous growing so that uh, we could develop uh, this into the f uh, future bonsai. Okay, this one here, I see a line. Well, let's see, do I go with a nice line or movement? Okay, so these are just random grows. We don't worry about them. Just in case we want to make this into a triple trunk, we'll keep this one. Okay, now I've had these growing in my uh, little hospital area. It was well shaded and they were crowded. I think I'm going to move them out into the open so we get a lot more sun. These containers are big enough so that it should be okie dokie. So, okay, so we'll be watching the progression. Yeah, see this area in here, right? It, it just looks artificial cut, which it is. But if I could do a nice carving, then I could make it a little more natural. Well, that's future project. Well, you can see the cut and cut this way. So, how are we going to approach this one here? Okay, those of you that's been diligently following me for the last three, four years, uh, I think I took this one when I was working on the arching style, big archer one. Uh, only reason I know is because I wrote a, a little memo. All these others, I can't remember exactly what I did. Well, that's sort of the problem that we get. Uh, I don't know if it's age or just got too many other things to remember. Okay, so we got this line here and then we want to maybe go somewhere like that. So I think, yeah, this one will shape up faster than the others. I think another round and then this will have a distinct shape. Okay, so this one here is actually the oldest or the longest that I've been working on or ignoring the most longest. Well, I was sort of excited when it looked like it was going to take off. And then, you know, I got busy and kind of lost track of it. And so I was kind of surprised the other day when I was going through the inventory. I said, hey, wait a minute, I kind of remember this. So this one looks like maybe a triple trunk. Okay, so let's let's work the number one tree here. Okay, branch here, right? It goes up, but there's a branch that if you cut this off, see how it goes horizontal or slightly dipping? That's how you avoid this nasty wire and have it especially at home they grow so fast if you put the wire on that they they'll scar your trunk and branches also if you feed it heavy they grow back so fast that you could just use these branch 
branches that you save and it'd be right there okay now back here I don't know if you can see this part is uninteresting there's a nice one here so I'm going to cut it off here and there's a big branch that's underneath there we don't need both so okay these will get clean cut later but for now I'm just most likely go up this end but we've we got to get this in to get thicker first so see right here it goes up and there's a branch here you cut it like that look at it's horizontal uh, probably don't need both of them but I'll go ahead and keep and then I did the same thing and so just learn how each one of your plants grow and just guide it along don't be fighting nature with your wire well let me take that back there is a use for the wire especially towards the end when you want that precise look but too many people just grab wire thinking that's the magic to bonsai the magic to bonsai is patience <laughs> and then having a vision for the future so you, you can't not take just any old material and then slap it together and call it bonsai that's not a good bonsai it takes time so getting there this one here too let's So think about the future. Uh, when you have something that starts to come close to what you want, you want to make sure your green part is in a, a tape, taper or more of a <clears throat> cone shape, right? So the, the natural growth habit of most plants is they grow up. But the shape we want is in this conical. So even just the outside, that's why a lot of times when I get behind, I just take my shears and then just go like that. That way you protect the movement and the taper, especially the taper. Because if you get all this growth up here and you don't do anything, then you end up with a reverse taper. So, yes, um, I'm always behind schedule, but I have methods to keep it so that it does not destroy the attempt okay so up here I'm not doing the clipping because I want this to fatten up and then so probably by end of this year I'll, I'll clip this again because this will have thickened up so this may be a triple trunk or this gets removed and it's a double trunk or yeah I think at least it's a double trunk possible so this either a double or a triple this might still work but yeah I'm beginning to like this that's why I end up with I I take chances in all different ways in propagation right that's why I end up with uh, unusual styles there's no way you could make this using the traditional cutting or seed method okay that was quick well I didn't want to spend a lot of time on uh, this stage and that's probably the the trick of the whole thing is if you're gonna do a lot of material you gotta get there quick and then also at this stage no use putting a lot of time and effort cleaning up the trunk and things like that because it really doesn't matter we got a good another two three maybe even five years on some of the bigger ones uh, the one in this in front I think this one we could start to finalize I just need to get it in more sunlight so that it gets uh, more dense and then uh, more bigger too so anyway this is Hero saying well, I'll see you again real soon in another chapter, especially since there's a cart full <laughs> right behind me. So I'll be shooting that episode too. So these were mostly, uh, in fact, all of them were Seiju and Elms from a, a previous project. 
that was more or less discarded. I think a lot of people would have just thrown these out, but I didn't. Okay, see you again real soon.